What's up, ladies and gents? Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Nurse Student Possibilities here, Social Nurse. I want to talk about a man named Jerry Givens. Jerry Givens, in my opinion, was a very interesting man. Jerry Givens, may he rest in peace, is no longer here. He died April 16th, 2020, surrounding his death. Uh, was a diagnosis of COVID-19 and he had pneumonia. He was 67 years old. Jerry Givens, I was surprised to learn that he was the chief executioner in the state of Virginia from 1984 to 1999. He executed 62 inmates, 37 by the electric chair and 25 by lethal injection. Jerry Givens is one of the most prolific executioners in the United States. I've got to talk about what's an elephant in the room to me. I am surprised that one of the most prolific executioners for a correctional system is a black man or was a black man, was a black man. Jerry Givens started out in the Virginia correctional system as a correctional officer. There was a need for an executioner to replace the one that would be outgoing and Jerry Givens was offered the job. Jerry was an outstanding correctional officer, no nonsense. And in his own words, he, was, he would use that taser when needed. He was offered the role as a chief executioner with no extra pay, no extra pay, he accepted. And from that point forward, he carried out the execution the executions of death row inmates. Really interesting guy. Jerry Givens was responsible for prepping the electrocution helmet, the wet natural sponge that went under the executing helmet, the execution ankle restraint, the execution chair. He shaved the heads of those that he was gonna place that wet sponge on their head and that helmet over their head. He shaved their heads. He said he even prayed for them. So he was a spiritual man, I guess, in a way. If you look at the interviews and the short documentary, you will see that Jerry talks about his role as an executioner very calmly, there's reserve, he seems to be at peace in those interviews with what his role was and what he did. The executing, the killing of others, if you will. He even said he prayed for himself and prayed for those that would be executed. He did not want to execute someone who was actually really innocent, but found guilty. Jerry talked about the fact that he's not a natural killer, that he had nothing personal against those that he executed, that it was just part of the job. He even reasoned in one of the interviews that in Virginia, there's knowledge out there that Virginia had, has the death penalty and that if you kill someone and you're convicted of that killing, you may actually die as a part of your sentence. So he saw it, according to him, as those being executed have committed, committing a form of suicide, having the knowledge that the death penalty is exercised in Virginia. That was part of his reasoning. And um, it's just a very interesting guy. He, he even um, uh, almost executed an innocent man, but because DNA had become available, the innocent man was able to prove 
with his lawyers through DNA that he was not guilty. He was released from prison off of that death row and Jerry had, he was on Jerry's list. He was soon to have been executed, but this occurred and he was got off. And I would think after that, maybe Jerry would not want to execute anyone else, uh, but he went on to execute more people even after that near miss he he held on to the job from 1984 to 1999 jerry givens was the chief executioner for the state of virginia he administered the lethal injections he talked about in one of the interviews his feelings uh, uh, not of having to hold that syringe that was going to be uh, used to, to give a lethal dose or doses in reference to the state of Virginia because they use a cocktail of three pharmaceuticals, one to paralyze the convict, one to relax his muscles, and the one to stop the heart, three pharmaceuticals whereas the federal government uses one, pentobarbital. I guess at least the state of Virginia is trying to uh, assist the person who's being uh, executed to not feel pain, but Jerry's not a medical person. He was not a medical person or anesthesiologist, so who knows how effective the cocktail is for the paralysis and uh, relaxing the convict before the heart is stopped. Okay, so this whole thing does not involve medical personnel administering the pharmaceuticals or uh, applying electrocution equipment. This was all up to the, the state of Virginia's uh, correctional execution team, which was uh, basically uh, Jerry Givens, as well as, um, you know, there were other people who witnessed the executions, right? Jerry Givens talked about when electrocuting the inmate occur the smell of the burning flesh was so memorable and unpleasant he talked about the smoke filled room the execution chamber room how smoke filled it was how bad the burning flesh smelled and how the doctors had to wait for the executed to cool off from the electrocution and the smoke to leave the room before the physician could come in and declare the convict deceased. Just a horrible all around job to have, I would say. Just a horrible job. Um, Jerry Givens, a very interesting man. In 1999, Jerry lost his job as a correctional officer and as the chief executioner, Jerry himself was convicted of a crime. Yes, Jerry's wife finally found out that her husband was more than a correctional officer. When he was convicted, that is when she found out he was actually the executioner as well. Jerry was convicted of money laundering and lying to a federal grand jury about it. Jerry was sentenced to four years. Jerry maintained his innocence. He maintained his innocence, but based on the findings, Jerry and a friend had purchased a car with money from the proceeds of drug sales, illegal drug sales. But again, Jerry maintained his innocence. He lost his job in 1999. He went to prison. He served four years. And luckily for Jerry, his fellow inmates 
did not find out that he had been a correctional officer and a state executioner, a prolific executioner, a man who had executed 62 inmates by either electric chair or lethal injection. Very interesting story. And after Jerry did his four years, he got out of prison and became a strong advocate against the death penalty. He had went into prison and came out with a whole different mindset concerning the death pen penalty. And after getting out, he was strongly against the death penalty. He helped try to change laws concerning the death penalty and getting it out of the system as a method of punishment. He worked, he worked against what he had formerly done so well. A very, very interesting story. An interesting man who seems to have been in somehow, you know, I can't question someone's spirituality or religious, but he somehow found uh, a way to be at peace uh, with his role as an executioner. Check out the links in the description box. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel. I appreciate your time. This has been Nurse Student Possibilities, Social Nurse.